Thanksgiving to God and especially the first reading from the book of Tobit uh, and you see Tobit received his sight back uh, and he give praise, praise to God, blessed be God, blessed be his great name, blessed be his angel, blessed be the great name forevermore for he had As you know, Munich is the capital of Bavaria. It's yeah. one, I should say, it's one of the really nicest places on earth. Wow. Oh, yes, it's a beautiful town. And uh, Munich is the capital, right? 
And uh, dirtying where you are now is the heart okay. of Bavaria. Oh. Yes, you know, a capital without, a, a head without a heart doesn't mean anything, and a heart without a head is also useless. <laughs> okay, so that's true. Aldrettig is the heart of Bavaria, the religious center. So Bavaria is a Catholic, mostly a Catholic country. And uh, 17th century, is a 30 years war by the Swedish soldiers. They destroyed everything except the temple. Now, in there you saw our Black Madonna. Yes. We want, well, I think we won't go inside now because you were yes. in. I tell you a lot of things because you can see only the things you know. Killer, you see, it is plastered, plastered with pictures, with so-called votive pictures or votive plaques. Now, we have the biggest collection of votive plaques in the world. Here we have 2,000, including inside the nave, out of 16,000. The rest, of course, is in our museum. But what is a votive plaque, a votive picture? comes from Latin, ex voto, which means out of the promise. So you know when you are ill, when you feel depressed, whatever, you might perhaps promise anything to get better again. So, and some people, of course not everybody, some people promise to go on a pilgrimage to Adretin if they are ill or one of the family is ill, and some of them, a small fraction, <coughs> even promise to, um, to make or to paint or have it painted to have such a, a votive plaque. And um, you see the, um, the cause of the pilgrimage. Sometimes it's uh, an ill, a very seriously ill child, or an accident. At the wall, around the corner, we have a, a, a votive plaque where a man here, here, uh, was saved. It was rescued. And the very last second in Bali, 2000 and... Oh, the, oh, the, the bombing. The bombing. Yeah, no, no, the tsunami. Yeah, yeah. 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 Boxing Day. Yeah, I think it was Boxing Day, 2004. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in the very last second, he was rescued when he prayed to the Madonna of Algeti. So there is a vote of Dakran Zikuna. Okay. On it very often. So it's public witness. People look, I put my trust in Madonna mm -hmm. and she helped me. So, uh, yeah. Italy, France, everywhere we have black Madonna. <coughs> so they can't, all of them can't have been burnt. Mm. No, it's not because of fire or smoke. No, it is on purpose because we have a psalm <coughs> saying, Black is she and beautiful. Okay? Negra es et pulchra in Latin. So we want to have a beautiful Madonna. That's why she has to be black. We are so pale, you look better, you are brown. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's true. Okay? okay. Uh, yeah, that's true. The secret is that they take a special wood, the core part of lime tree, of lime wood, and that is getting darker and darker. That's the whole mystery. Right. Okay. Okay. That's it. And uh, perhaps you saw it when you were uh, in there at six o'clock. It's not in this picture. At, at her hand, the hand of the Madonna, here, you will see a gold, big golden ring. Did you see that? No. no. Yeah. Nobody told you. <laughs> I, I couldn't get up so early. <laughs> anyway, that was the present of Pope Benedict oh. when he was here, and he, it was his cardinal ring. You know, he was cardinal of yes. Munich. Yes. Yes. And so when he when he became pope in 2005, 2006 he was here, and first. 
of course, first visit went to his home country, and he gave his this ring to the Madonna. Oh. You will go to Martel afterwards, which is only 12 kilometers away. He was born there, yeah. okay, mm -hmm. and he belonged to Aldetti. He came there so often as a cardinal, so we didn't even greet him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> if I had known he would be the next yeah. pope, <laughs> but, but I didn't. So, and, oh, oh. nothing happened, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, it's this way. So, uh, and of course the Madonna has uh, different dresses which were stitched and embroidered by the noble ladies in former times. Here you see our Pope Benedict in front of the, of the Madonna, praying here, okay? You uh, also saw uh, that uh, inside it's black, mysterious mm. atmosphere, and you, see the, you saw the golden center with the Madonna, and left and right two angels, yes. then God Father, God Son, and the Holy Spirit on top, it's very nice. And left and right, use, there are two showcases on each yeah, side yeah. Uh, with the um, yeah yeah with, with the votive gifts, yeah. legs and arms and so on. Here, it's only a small fraction of all the things yes. we have. They are in, in our museum. And then you saw the two silver figures, yeah. left and right of the. Yeah. So, left, it's the saint of Alderting. We have our own saint who lived there. It is Brother Conrad. Oh. We will oh. see his coffin in his church afterwards. Brother Conrad. And to the right, you see an elegant Rococo prince of, of our Wittelsbach dynasty. So, um, looks very elegant. Look here. Of Rococo times, that means 18th century. Yeah. And he weighs exactly 42 kilos, pure silver.
I was scared of that sound of music, lah. The sound of music also not much, lah. So we're going to see too much, yeah. And also my sensor. Only one. Only one. Yeah. 